Ryan, uh, welcome. First of all, my understanding, you guys are going to share the CEO title for six months, and then you take the title executive chairman. Uh, I was able to speak with Dave uh, on the phone last night. Uh, he's, he's taking some time off in Hawaii. He said he was looking for a CEO gig. You were looking for a chief operating officer, but, you know, you came to an understanding. that right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm, I couldn't be more thrilled right now. Honestly, it's a, a really great day for us. And I've, I've been um, was not looking for a CEO job. I love my I love working at Flexport. In fact, I'm going to stay working at Flexport. But what Flexport needs to get to the next stage is to be the world's best operations company. Global logistics is all about operational execution, high quality, predictability, reliability. And frankly, Dave's better at those things than I am, like way better. He's probably the best in the world. Uh, so when I realized I had the opportunity to hire him, it's like a dream. I'm going to be able to work, learn from him, help him, work with him. So we're going to be an amazing partnership. I'm, I'm all about growth and creative ways to scale the business, but we got to be operationally, relentlessly improving ourselves. And that's Dave's entire mantra. So it's going to be great. Yeah. So, Ryan, you and I talked in depth just about a year ago, and you said that financially you're ready to be public. Um, but all of these dislocations in the freight industry, the high prices weren't going to last. Um, so you were looking for maybe a, a more stable trajectory. Things that seems have changed since then, given that, you know, demand has remained strong, your revenue has continued to go up, and it seems like your vision has expanded. Uh, give, me a, give me another take now on Flexport over the next uh, three to five years and the, the road to going public. Well, in, in, I think if, with Dave coming on board in five years, Flexport's going to be known, hands down, as the world's best supply chain company. Um, and that's something Dave and I discuss a lot is like, we're just, we're going to build the best culture for execution, for operators, for tech enabled supply chain, global tech enabled global trade. And that's going to be a huge market, regardless what happens with trade in the interim, whether the container volumes are up or down, it's just such a massive market. And regardless what happens with capital markets, I mean, we've seen IPOs from last year really get crushed. So I'm, I'm happy that we're private and not getting distracted by that. And, um, but we did manage to raise a large round of capital at the end of last year, it closed it in Q1 of this year. So we're really well funded, we're profitable. Uh, so we're just in a really great place to go from, uh, I think we'll be one of the reference assets here that comes out. And there are, there are <clears throat> there's gonna be some dislocation, there's gonna be some ugliness for companies that aren't hmm. well financed and don't have a great business model like Flexboard does. Yeah, you kind of made that point in your Twitter thread this morning, Ryan, you said that you guys are profitable. Just a quick question, is that net income profitability or is that another measure? Uh, yeah, free cash flow, net income, profitability, gap-based profitability, yeah. Okay, um, thanks for clarifying that. Now, Flexport really got its start. I spoke to you, I think, like four years ago now, kind of as the anti-Amazon. You looked to a lot of customers in the DTC space that didn't necessarily want to hand over their data to an Amazon. Um, so you had Warby Parker and Allbirds and the likes of them. Have you kind of moved up the chain? Who's your biggest customer now? Who do you want to go after with Dave Clark at the helm and his experience? Um, yeah, well, we serve small businesses like a lot of Amazon merchants. We don't see ourselves as the anti-Amazon at all. We try to make it as easy as possible for companies that, that sell through Amazon to get their goods delivered into FBA. I'd, we'd love to partner with them more. We don't, we don't position ourselves that way at all. Uh, we're not anti-anybody, really. I think we want to build the best global logistics operation to help any company do global trade. But we are now working with some of the biggest companies in the world. Um, you know, Fortune 100 companies of all scales, like we've got Bridgestone, Georgia Pacific, some really big companies, reference customers, as well as many others that don't have permission to share because supply chain, are, the data is so sensitive that uh, we don't always get permission. But we work with some of the best companies in the world, that, that household names that everybody would know.